Okay. So I'll leave. Hey, the soul has become plain to you. Ghana for. Okay. This month is Ghana month and this whole month we are dedicating it to promoting Made in Ghana. On this colourful episode today, I met a young man from Ashaiman. He's doing something beautiful. Ashaiman is a community located in the greater Accra region of Ghana. Here is Ashaiman Jericho and we are going to talk to a young man who is contributing to the music industry in Ghana. Now, let's go inside and see what he makes. This is Ghana man. Let's go. Yes, please, you can come out now. Oh, okay, come in. Okay. Oh, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Welcome. <laughs> Thank Thanks you. Welcome in. <laughs> so, you yeah, are welcome to Image Guitars. Oh, yeah. thank you. This these is where are, you do your yes, work. Yes, this okay. is where I do my work. Yeah. Okay. Where I do those beautiful guitars you see. Online. Yes, online. Now I'm here to experience yeah. it for myself. <laughs> sure. Okay, yeah. let's go, let's go, let's go. <laughs> so, we are going to my little shop. Okay. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. My shop is small, so you take it. Uh, <laughs> you yeah, take you it like that. Like that. Yes, yeah. <laughs> it doesn't matter. What comes of it is beautiful. <laughs> so, welcome to my shop. Oh, yeah, okay. So this is where all the magic happens. Yes. Okay. Everything here. Okay. Yeah. So, guys, we are here to find out about more about Emo guitars. I've already seen an mm. finished guitar yeah. here. So, you... This is a left guitar I'm doing for someone. Like, Ooh, this yeah. is a left type I'm doing for someone. Yeah. Okay. I mean, the country, you hardly get a left guitar. Oh, yeah. okay. Being so, them I haven't seen some before. Wow. Yeah. So, of course, I do the guitars here from scratch. So, I took it upon myself to also do for the left-handed people. Yes. Wow. So, they will not be biased. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. No, uh -huh. no. A biased person. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Thank you so much. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so I've been having a lot of perceptions. I've been telling people we are in Ashaiman. I've been having a lot of perceptions. People yeah. have been having a lot of perceptions that the people here are rowdy. People are being picked when they are in, yeah. around Ashaiman. Yeah. There, there has been a lot of stories around Ashaiman. So can you tell us something about this? Is this perception really true? Is okay. everybody here yeah. rowdy or yeah. trying to take something from you? 
Okay, so um, what, what I would say about our shaman is that shaman, it's a cool place and a peaceful place, but um, what, what you must do is that like when you come to a shaman, mm. you must be like you must be vigilant. All right. Yeah, like in terms of how you move and others. Okay. Uh -huh. um, my do here people say that there are thieves in a shaman and others. Mm. Uh -huh. But so far for me, um, I see a shaman as a very good, like cool place. All right. uh -huh. And then if you come to a shaman, we have the market, which is the main station that mm. area. Uh -huh. Before we have. Um, like some towns to in Ashaiman. So we have Ashaiman Jericho, where we are currently, and then we have Lebanon and Zeno and Ade. So uh, what, what I'll say is that all these places are very cool, as, as you can witness now. It's oh, a yeah. very quiet place. Oh, okay, okay. So those people saying Ashaiman is this and Ashaiman is that, um, like it's just a, um, like it's a misconception. Uh -huh, that they are having about a shy okay. man. So growing up here for about over 20 yeah. years, sure, right? sure. Yeah. how can you say your childhood has been growing up here? Is it, has it been so rough even with this perception? Oh, or okay. has it been good? Um, so growing up in a shy man has never been easy okay. in so many ways, yeah. Okay. Uh -huh, because um, and my quiet member, uh, my quiet member, when I went to school, if they ask you where you are from, they say a shy man. Oh. That's all. <laughs> like, then they'll just be going back. Oh. Like, even how to make friends and others, they are scared because people say they are bad people in a shy man, they kill people and others. So it hasn't been easy from childhood. Okay. So um, sometimes, if they ask me, sometimes I say tema. But it got to some time, I just said, that, oh, um, why won't I just say a shy man so that those who would come genuinely would stay or something like that, yeah. Oh, okay. So, yeah. But, so, so growing up in a shy man has never been easy. So yeah. I think going forward, we shouldn't, we should relate to people mm. as a person or as an individual rather than just having this having kind of that, perception yes. that everybody, everybody is like yeah. this. Okay. Sure. So, um, which school did you go to? Um, did so you attend I, school here in Ashaiman? Yeah, um, I attended school in Tema, okay. Committee to our First Academy. Uh, and then um, I went to the senior high, Ulams. And then right now I'm in the college, uh, I'm in my final year, fourth year, in Accra College of Education. Oh, okay, yeah. okay. So, did you go to school for mm. making the guitars? Oh no, I didn't go to school for making the guitar. Okay, so before we get to that, okay, okay <laughs> tell us about the guitar mm. journey. Okay, so it all started when I was um, when I was very young. Okay. Huh. Those days I used to to hold a guitar like this, and then I would just be hitting it because um, my elder brother okay. plays guitar, but okay. he played it in the left form, like he's a left team. Okay. So if he's um, if he's going to play the guitar, he will just turn it upside down and then. So um, I used to hold the guitar and then hit it and then um, like he um, he decided to help me out in playing. Uh -huh. okay. So um, like we started with the lesson. Uh -huh. So yeah. During the le so that lesson. Yeah. From there, you started making guitars. Or okay. Um, so I'll say that what encouraged me to do the guitar is that. Because he was a left team, mm. he holding the guitar in the other way round. Mm. Like it's, um, it's like it's difficult for me to be able to pick because I'm right and it's left. Um, if he's playing, he turns it upside down and then this one would come here and then the smaller one would also go here. So it made me learning the guitar was very, um, like it was very difficult. Um, so I decided to create something. Like I decided to like to do something on my own, like a guitar. Mm. So I got that um, like I got that idea of making guitars from that. Okay. Cause my brother was a lefty, and me finding it very difficult to mm. 
to take or to grasp um, what he's teaching me. So I just decided to also do, um, I decided to do a guitar in the left hand for him so that if he's teaching me how he would hold it would be the same way as how I would also hold it. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Oh, that's, that's really beautiful. So you are welcome to Ashaiman. Whatever conceptions you've been hearing, it's not always true. We found something beautiful and something unique about these guitars. There, there, I think there are guitars yeah. and this is very unique, right? Sure. Yes. So I saw Imo. Imo, yeah. Yes, guitars. Mm. Where did the name come from? Okay. Um, so the name Emoji, um, I quite remember, um, I quite remember um, when I wanted the name for the guitar, I was, I prayed and I asked my brothers and my sisters to help me, but um, like something was not coming. So I was there and then the Lord spoke to me. <laughs> That's why Amen. don't I use my name? <laughs> okay. Yeah. So I tried something. Um, so I took my first name, which is Emmanuel. And then my surname, which is Otubua. Okay. And then I use my other names, which is Joel. All right. Yeah, so the name is Emmanuel Joel Otubua, and then I designed it in this way. Yes, uh -huh. so that is where the name image is coming from, okay. from my name, Emmanuel right. Joel Otubua. Okay, yeah. okay. So now we know. Thank you very much, Emmanuel. We will now okay. be referring to you as Emoji. Do you Emoji like the image or Emmanuel? Oh, for now, they are like the image. Image. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> All right. So this sure. <laughs> sure. Sure. Okay. So are you employing people? For so, now, mm. I'm being all by myself okay. and my siblings here. Okay. So uh, is, has now, someone yeah. come to you willing to learn? Oh, yes, yes, yes. And Lots, have you yes. taught uh, some what people? What I do tell them is that for now, um, I want them to relax so, so that I'll perfect myself and then I'll expand it because as you can see, this side is very small. Oh, okay. uh -huh. Then aside that, so I'm in school myself. Oh, okay, so... I um, only come home on weekends. Oh, okay. Uh, and I leave Sunday evening like that, yeah. Okay. So I do tell them that with time, if the time is approaching, I would help them, like, I would tell them. Okay, sure. Yeah. Okay. We are making a guitar recorded. <laughs> record. We are making and today I am up at the guitarist, also at the workshop making guitars. Just that I will be dating small. <laughs> okay. That's good. Okay. Do other people use different materials aside? Oh yes, yes, yes. Um like we have the specific one I'm supposed to use. Uh -huh. okay. But in Ghana here you not get some. Oh no, um, it's here, but like it's in here as in the whole tree. Like it's big, like um, it's not, not finished. Yes, okay. yeah, uh -huh, it's not refined. How many guitars can you yeah. come from? So I can get two from this. So like three. Now you can yes, get three, three from, from this. this yeah. so, okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so I use my long ruler. Okay. To check the center of the guitar. So, okay. So. With, with, with this, of course, I don't have the machine, so I can't be so accurate or too accurate it's, like yes. But it doesn't affect the final work? No, no, it doesn't affect the final work. Okay. Yeah. As for the final touches, I critically look at it before I fix them. Okay. Mm. This one. If your mass is weak, <laughs> you can't really do this. Uh, yeah, because um, it contains like some topics in mass and science. Let's oh, say okay. um, circle theorem, those Pythagoras theorem and things. Oh, um, so this is where are, it is applied. Yeah. <laughs> yes. So people will be asking, ah, yeah. all this is I learned in school, where will I apply it? Those so Someone is using it. <laughs> Someone is using it. This is to the bank. Is it to the bank? Yes. The notion that all those two stuff in school are not important. Someone is using Pythagoras theorem. Sorry, yeah. Yes. <laughs> so we use those theorem in doing the fretboard, the marking of the fret lines on the fretboard, which which is this. So as you can see, this is not finished. Oh, okay. Uh -huh. So um, before I'm supposed to do this, or before I'm supposed to finish this, I'm supposed to use a certain formula in mass that we normally skip. Okay. 
Okay. Uh, and almost mostly the maths we do in our school are all theory. Yes. But with the practical we um, I think that's we'll have where to why, yeah, yeah, that's why some of us lost interest. In <laughs> <laughs> me uh, and maths are not friends. Um, yeah, so um, like me personally, I like maths. So oh, um, I'm offering maths and IT. Oh, okay. So I'm teaching the kids how to find X, but I'm still teaching them how to find X. Oh, X, you are X, that yeah. teacher that we hated. Yes, uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> I still teach them to find that. Today. Is that teacher that we, I hated? That, that subject. Yeah. But then you applying it makes it nice. That means you are very good in maths. Yeah. Oh, small, small. Small, small. Uh, Sorry. Okay. So with all this, I use days in maths, all this. this. My dividers and my staffs, so I use them here also. So. This one, we'll use it to destroy the table. <laughs> <laughs> so as you can see. So to those who hated construction way back in school. I liked it because doing, it involves yeah, drawing. drawing. I like okay. drawing, but... <laughs> so doing the guitar, you would need it. Yeah. So most, most of the things you hated in maths. Things we so. hated are being applied. <laughs> Yeah. Wow. Oh, okay. So I will draw mine. So this is the sound I'm making. Okay. Sound here. Yeah. Okay. So now I'm done sketching or drawing the sound to it. And the one thing with the guitar is that if you miss 0 0.1, the guitar won't sound. So it will not be a guitar. Yeah, if you miss 0 0.1, the chords, when you strike a key, it will not sound as that on the keyboard. So okay. then that thing is not an instrument. So all this, because I don't have the machines, so I'm just doing manpower here. Oh, okay. But do you plan on making any other musical instruments? Yeah, um, I've been planning to do drums. Drums, drums yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah. But with that one too, I would, um, I would have to get the machines first. Uh, okay. before, uh, that one, it's not handmade? Oh, it, it's also handmade. Handmade. Okay. But I'm supposed to get some stuff first. Oh, okay. Uh -huh. um, so what, what I'm doing is that I want to focus on this first okay. for now, so that if I'm able to raise up something from here, then I'll be able to do the other ones. Like if I get some money from here, then I'll start doing those Drum. the drums and other and violin, yes. Oh, oh mm. that's nice. Violin and other instruments, yes. Guitar instruments. Okay. And this is the neck okay. of okay. the guitar. Yeah. All right. So this one, I'm doing my own design here. That's uh, what I normally do. Yes. And the acts that we skipped in <laughs> class is being applied. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm not bad at drawing, though. I can draw uh, you all crying addition craft. Hey, yes. so you are good in arts, too. <laughs> Very good in Talented. That. We have a lot of talent in Ghana, but... <laughs> This and I have to like get a smooth. <laughs> okay, yeah. that is why it takes uh, uh, a number of I was days. supposed to get, I was like, I bought a foreign this thing, but they are all used. They didn't keep long, they need to get spots. Oh, okay. Also, oh, yeah, okay. <laughs> doesn't worry you. Um, but what I'm planning to get to those things, like mm. it does sometimes. Uh, the effects can come yes, later. Uh, okay. Yes, uh, it will come later. Um, all what's what I mean, I will not feel it now, but, mm, okay. but later. Mm. Cry, okay. Later. Cry. I wanted to know how many years of experience you've had 
okay. with making the guitars. That is, how many years have you been doing it? Yes. Okay, so I started when I was very young. So let's say 13 years ago or 14 to 15 years ago. Uh -huh. And during yeah. that time, people were patronizing? No, um, um, I'll call that time try and error. Oh. Those days, if I do the guitar and then I tune it, like it will get spots. And oh. sometimes I would have to skip the guitar mm. and then I'll try. So I was trying. So I tried first one, it didn't work. Okay. And then I stopped doing the guitar for about like for about um, for about a month or a year, okay. and then I later came to like to start all over again, and with the second time too, it didn't work, and then I, and I kept on trying. Oh. Yeah. So, <laughs> and what what I do is that if I am if if I'm building the guitar, and there is a problem, I try to build upon the problem. Okay. Uh -huh. So it's through the building upon the problems that I that I finally arrived at this. Uh -huh. mm, okay. But um, it's like I had some challenges those days, okay. like friends. Some of them will be saying that, ah, but you want to do guitar in Ghana? How are you serious? Is that possible? Mm. Uh -huh. But I, um, I didn't give up. Okay. Yes, because I knew what I wanted to do, okay. so I didn't give up on what. On, on, on the dreams I had about the guitar. Okay. Uh, so, so I, yeah. talking about having guitars, yeah. doing the guitar in Ghana, yeah. and your friends asking you about the fact that you have to, you want to do guitars in Ghana, yeah. the meaning they had this idea that it will not work. Yes. Do yes. you have competitors? Oh, so far for now in the country, I don't really know. Okay. Yes, I don't really you know. You don't know no, yeah. other people who other make people, yeah. guitars. No. Okay. All right. So you're talking about. Uh, the difficulty you had with your yeah, sure. brother having I'm to yeah. learn from the left, left to the right. right. Yeah. And that gave you the idea to make the, the guitars, left. Yeah. Wait, how many kinds of guitars do we have? We have lots of them. Oh, okay. But the common ones are the acoustics. So the acoustic guitar, the semi-acoustic guitar, the acoustic bass, the semi-acoustic bass, the electric guitar and the electric bass. And then we have other kinds of guitars. Oh, okay. Uh -huh. So we have lots of guitars. Okay, so uh -huh. it means when you make an acoustic guitar, yeah. you can make one for the right-handed person right, yes. and one for the left-handed sure. person. Oh, that's yes. beautiful. Okay, so maybe we should talk about what each guitar does. <laughs> Do you know what each of them <laughs> Oh, does? okay. Okay. So um, the simple explanation I give about the guitar is that this is a semi-acoustic guitar. Okay. And it sounds like a lady's voice. It sounds thin, like oh, okay. how ladies are. Huh? So I'm um, it's used to solo and back and others. Like okay, okay. maybe when you are playing a strong, um, like a song, or when you are singing yourself, you can be strumming and others. Okay. And then used to lead the song you are playing. Okay. And then we have the bass guitar, which sounds like it has a low sound. So if um, like low means bass, like it sounds busy. Uh -huh. So that one sounds like a man's voice. Okay. Uh -huh. So it's also um, like it's also used to accompany the other instruments. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Okay. Let's see. In general, okay. we have the lead, and then we have the bass. Uh -huh. Okay. But with the lead, um, like we have them in types. Like we have the acoustics, the electric, and then with the bass, we have the acoustic, and we have the electric bass. Uh -huh. All right. Yeah. Okay. So since we are talking about the guitar, let's yeah. get into the materials. The materials. Okay. Do you get all of them in Ghana? Are they okay. sourced in Ghana? So far, mm -hmm. um, like I hardly get the stuffs in Ghana here. Oh, okay. It's if I'm supposed to like if I'm supposed to rate it in terms of percentage, I would say maybe. 20%, yes, uh -huh. 20% in Ghana here. But uh, most of them are sourced from China. Okay. I do ship them from China. Yeah. So which part? Okay, so these bridge pins, mm -hmm. the strings, I don't buy them here. Sometimes I buy them here. Mm -hmm. The equalizers, it's all, it's all from China. The pegs too. Mm -hmm. And then, yeah, the freight wires and the the French dots oh, okay. uh -huh, and all those stuff, yeah, they are from China. China. So um, what I get here in the country is the wood. 
the okay. plywood. So I use okay. plywood in doing the guitar. Okay. Yes, and then this one, it's also a material. It's called the formical board. board. Uh -huh. okay. So I use the formical for this side. Uh, um, it's like I don't use the paint for this side because the paints in Ghana are not standard. It's not quality. Oh, okay. Uh -huh. So I don't use the paints in Ghana. Sometimes I use the paints in Ghana, but I only use it for the fretboard. Uh -huh. um, but, but even with that one, I hardly do it because it makes the finishing look some way. Because mm. um, the paints, um, cause most of the paints that comes into the country are not really good or uh -huh. okay. yes so will you say um because you are shipping some of these mm. parts it makes it uh, very expensive to produce them oh yeah sure so, so if, if you yeah. think if they were somewhere made in ghana it would have mm. made the work easier yeah so um because i ship them from china the things um, like the things are not expensive in china okay yes but how the thing will get to the country. That's the problem. The mm. shipping fees. Mm. That's the problem. Yeah. So for now, things they are not expensive. And then um, some too, like some of the Ghanaians are selling some of the common things here, like the strings, mm. the tuning picks. But the prices they'll mention for you, eh? <laughs> it's very serious. Mm. Uh -huh. Sorry. Yeah. So okay. um, like the prices though um, the prices do mention for you can buy lots from China. China. Uh -huh. oh, okay. I'm sure maybe they too they they take it from the yeah. Uh -huh. Yes. Yeah. But by most most of them try to overprice mm -hmm. their products. Yeah. Okay. Something they are supposed to sell for let's say two C D, they'll say twenty C D more. Uh -huh. Okay. So uh -huh. since yeah. you are talking about pricing yeah. too. Mm -hmm. What is the price range for the guitars? Oh, okay. So the normal price range for the guitars, um, like we have the acoustic, mm -hmm. but I don't do the acoustic again. Why? Because of the cost in production. Okay. Uh -huh. So I prefer the semi-acoustics. But with the acoustic, they starts, it, 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 it can start from, let's say, 400 upwards, but it will depend on the grade you want. Oh, okay. Uh -huh. but because I'm doing the thing in Ghana, I don't want to do something low. Yeah. Uh -huh. So with the guitars I have here, the price range from um, from 700 upwards. Okay. Uh -huh. All right. So 700 upwards, yeah. Okay. Sure. Okay. But do you know how to play? Oh, yes, more, more. <laughs> okay. Um, I play bass personally. But because I'm doing guitar, so I was so I'm supposed to at least know how to play something. Okay. So I used two weeks in learning some things in the guitar. Wow. Yeah. Cause I have, um, like, cause I have some idea on the bass. Mm. So I transferred that idea and I added something to this, and then, yeah, and I'm able to flow. Yeah. Okay, that's good. Mm. Can you describe your target audience? Oh, okay. So right now, my target audience are like the main people are people who are into music. Okay. So the churches, the palm wine players, I mean, those who play those nylon guitars. Oh, okay. Uh -huh, like such guitars, yes. And then the music school, schools who are also, school yeah. also do like such things, like they, they offer music and others. So okay. those are my targets. And then um, aside, the people in Ghana here, um, like in other countries also. Oh, yeah, okay, so uh -huh. it means you so export general. to yes, yes. Okay. Yeah. other countries. Yeah, so far you've, um, you would find an image guitar in Turkey, oh, oh, that's yeah. nice. um, Benin, Togo, and some, some uh, Maybe Coast, US, yes, okay. and then some other countries, yeah. yeah. Fun fact, aside the fact that these guitars are made in Ghana. One thing that also drew my attention to Emo, Emo, is it Emo? Emoji. Emoji guitars is that <laughs> they are handmade. Yeah. I got to realize by, by the conversation that some guitars are made with machines and his own is handmade. So I want to ask you, okay. how many days or hours do you take okay, to make a guitar? Okay, so since the guitars are purely handmade, mm. 
let's say if I start this guitar, um, let's say by four days time, I, um, I, um, I, I should be done with the guitar manufacturing. Okay. So um, within four days, I can produce two guitars. In four yes, days? Four days, yeah. So even, uh, so within an hour, uh, like what can you do in an hour? Uh? Within an hour, uh, maybe I only do the top of this, the top of this pair. Oh. Uh -huh. Then of course, I don't. Yes, yes. yes. Cause I don't have the machines for those stuff, and then um, it involves glue, so it's um, like it's, it's supposed to dry. Okay. And whatever I do, I'm supposed to leave it down for some time. Uh -huh. um, cause I don't have, um, I don't have those machines and then those things because um, with the foreigners, they have something where the um, like where that thing itself will cut the guitar shape. Then, um, like, they have a machine to, that would use the wood, like, to stick it together with this one. Like, we have something inside called, um, like, that braces the guitar. Uh -huh. okay. But they, they use seconds to do that because of their machines and, the, and then the type of glue they use. So within seconds, yeah, um, they can be able to produce just this top within seconds. But with me like this, one hour or more, Okay. An hour or more, yes. Okay. So can you tell us mm. the creative process of making a guitar? So okay. First of all, what do you do? What, where do you move from to the other uh, process? Okay. Yeah. So what, what I do first is that I get my plywood. Okay. The normal plywood we all know in Ghana here, yes. Okay. Then after that, I get my saw. I cut my shape. Okay. After cutting the shape, and then I'll brace the guitar. Might do some, <clears throat> might perform some magic in the guitar. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> so course. I'll call it breathing. Yeah. Uh -huh. So after that, I now glue them and then I clamp. And after doing that, I get my acoustic box. Oh, okay. Yes. Then after that, so I would go to my fretboard. That one too, um, I'll use my saw in cutting. Um, so I quite remember the very first day I said I wanted to do the fretboard. As I was cutting with the saw, and then the saw skipped like the wood. I don't know what happened. Mm -hmm. Then it got to my hand here. So as you can see, you can see a scar here. Mm -hmm. That was when I was very young, but it's still showing. Mm -hmm. So yeah. Um, so, um, so anytime I see this, um, I remember the very first time I was doing the fretboard. Oh, okay. uh -huh. So aside that to then I'll ship my own bridge. Oh, okay. And yes, then I'll just fix my fret wires my equalizers and then the other stuffs, the bridge pins and the tuners. Uh -huh. So after that, and I'll just So you said you learnt all of this on your own? Nobody yes, I learnt all, this wow. on, yeah, all of this on my own. Yeah. Beautiful. Yeah. So um, the, let's go to the challenges. Since you okay. mentioned the mm -hmm. mark, what other challenges do you face? Okay. So um, I mentioned the challenges of me not having a machine. Yeah. Okay. Then aside that too, because I'm doing the thing locally here in Ghana, um, um, I saw on on social media, like on those platforms, okay. Facebook, Gigi and others. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So if I post them there, like it's um, like it's very nice. So if I post them, um, and then like you are not told it's made in Ghana. If someone doesn't tell you, you will never believe. Wow. Uh -huh. So sometimes um, some people chat me that they want a guitar, like they, um, they are interested. Some of them, if they tell you that they want a guitar, me, mm. if, um, like if in case you message um, me that I want a guitar, the first thing I'll tell you that it says made in Ghana mm. and it's a handmade guitar by me. Mm. Yeah, so for some people, Immediately you tell them that, then you go chop block. Hey. Uh -huh. Some two will say, well, okay, you hear from them, you not hear from them. And then some two also motivate you and then also purchase. So that is my challenge. Okay, so um, people believe yes, that believe, yeah. things made in, made in Ghana, Ghana are not always. Yes, oh. yes, we have that perception that perception. things made in Ghana are not good. Yes. But you've seen the guitar, I think mm. the videos, you will see yeah. them really. You've seen the guitars. Look at how beautiful the gold and the power. Uh, I, mean, I just held one and mm. I can see that I've not held a guitar before. Mm. This is my first time. But the moment I held it, the wood and the, the heaviness even told me that mm. this is something good that 
um, every guitarist yeah. can be using. Exactly. Um, so I started selling, mm -hmm. let's say, for four to five years now. Uh -huh. Then, oh, okay. um, like, ever since I started selling, so far, all those who have bought it, like, no challenges. Oh, uh -huh. no. Like, uh -huh. um, all of them give positive feedbacks Feedback. about the guitar. Yeah. Okay. Um, if they hold the guitar for the first time, the first word they say it's it's solid. Okay. Uh -huh. Then with the sound, so it has a unique sound. It has a single sound. Uh, most most of the guitar is some, yeah, mm. some. Uh -huh. But this one has a unique sound. And then um, like one thing about these guitars is that it's a standard guitar. Okay. It's a stand like in terms of the notes, mm. everything mm. is a standard guitar. Uh -huh. um, so far to. Um, I've personally not seen 24 fret bass acoustic before. Okay. Uh, but I me, mean, I do add to those things. So um, I can even do more based on your preference. So sometimes I customize guitars. Like what you just do is that you just give me your design and then I'll just make it for you. Okay. Um, however you want it. So I've done some guitars in a star form. Some two they'll okay. bring their own guitars and others like their own designs. Design. So, okay. I'll just design it for them, yeah. Okay. So maybe I'll make mine in an afro, like in an afro, afro yeah. way. Yeah. Then you, okay. <laughs> I'll just hang it to my room. Yeah. Now I'll later come for lessons. <laughs> <laughs> so I see that you yeah. have your workspace and looking at the kind of products that come out mm. of the place, I think you need. You yes, need a bigger I'll space. Need a larger, yeah. 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 And in some other countries, or per my research, I've seen that mm. they provide support for small and medium enterprises in those countries. Sure. Are you being supported by any NGO? Okay, so the... so far for now, no one is supporting me. Um, um, I only do that all by myself. So how do you fund the production process? Uh, um, I just do everything by myself. How I get the money, everything. Do I'm schooling and everything, but um, I just match the two. Oh, okay. In terms of my money and others, I just match them. So for now, I'm funding my own self. No support okay. from anywhere. Yes. Oh, okay. um, some people try to help, but, but like they were saying something. Yeah, uh -huh. <laughs> they were saying something. They were say, all we know is they were saying something. something like yeah. These stories. Oh, yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. So if you are out there and you can support Emoji Guitars, please, I want to do it, but... <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's why I've put out this yeah, video, sure. right? But me, me, per what I'm seeing in the story I'm hearing, I'm mm. very, very emotional. <laughs> yes, I'm, I'm a very emotional person, so it's really bringing out my emotion because what I'm seeing, it's really, really beautiful. What I saw online is not compared to what I've held and felt today. They are really nice. So if you are out there and you can support emo guitars by even yeah. sharing this video and telling a musician you know that, oh, they should buy a Made in Ghana product. Don't forget, March is Made in Ghana. We are supporting Made, made in, in Ghana, Ghana. products. March is Made in Ghana. It's Ghana month, yes. So in supporting Made in Ghana products, I think we should share this video and also recommend Emoji Guitars. Tell that person, let me say this in fancy, Obia Enyimna, or a musician, okay? Or Obia Enyimna, or Pede, or Guitar. Yes. Recommend Emoji Guitars to him because. Me, I'm not, I'm not a music expert or a guitar expert, but what I'm seeing, oh, tell them that Nadaba told you they should patronize Emoji guitars, right? Yes. That's a cut. So I was, as I was telling you to patronize um, Emoji guitars, can you tell us where we can reach you, the number you can reach you on when you want to buy a guitar in Ghana, okay. made in Ghana? Okay. Yes. So the name on DG, on Facebook, on Instagram, and on YouTube, they are all Emoji Guitars. Yes. Okay. Yes. Uh -huh. So with the Facebook and then the others, they are, um, the image is capital letter. Okay. But with the Instagram, the image is a small letter. Like they are small letters. So the Emoji Guitars, they are all together. That's for the Instagram, yeah. So um, 
um, like anyone who wants to get the guitar can reach me on 024 So, um, like, either you call that number or you WhatsApp me on that number. Yes, and then within the twinkle of an eye, you would hear from me. So. Oh, 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 yeah. So I'll leave the link to his pages in the description box for you to check out. You just have to tap and go to the page. Recommend him to other people so that we build on this Made in Ghana product. Okay, okay, yes. Let's put Ghana on the map. This is Ghana month. Right, 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 right. So um, I will be playing the guitar for you to dance. Yeah, and he will play for me to dance. <laughs> All right. So from now on, call me Nanaba, the guitarist. So you see this beautiful. This, this is my favorite because of the colors and the the model, model, right? <laughs> How it is molded. I really love it and. Right now, this is my favorite guitar, as Abba, the guitarist, right? So, um, I think if you watch this video up to this end, you've gotten something out of it that we should support Made in Ghana um, products. If you are a musician in Ghana, I think I'll appeal to you to get this guitar for your guitarist or any guitarist you know. If you are into music, I think this guitar, these guitars will contribute a lot to your music production. Since uh, we are doing this promotion also, I will urge you to share this video to someone who would be able to support Emoji Guitar right here in Ashaiman, Jericho. So we are signing out and um, see ya. Ha, ha, ha.